Oh, yeah. So before we got to South America, we all decided that we were going to try to vlog as much of the experience as we could to give you guys the raw, uncut version of what it's like to backpack and the backpacking lifestyle in South America. And part of that discussion was also about sharing with you all the highs as well as the lows. And unfortunately, Terrell definitely experienced several lows in the trip. I mean, we all did, but he was probably the first and the one to experience them to the further extreme um, because right before we arrived in Medellin he ended up getting traveler sickness really bad as well as getting his phone pickpocketed in Bogota so in this vlog entry you hear him just talking about that experience and giving some amazing tips on how to avoid those things so I hope you guys enjoy it yeah man so how y'all doing it's back you know last time y'all kind of saw me I had a you know a different hairstyle or whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna let y'all know why I really haven't been posting as much. Uh, a little bit. So at the Cartagena, you know uh, Tyrona Park, you know you'll see some of the views of that. Um, right at the Cartagena, when I was in Medellin, like right getting on the plane, I got sick. Yeah, y'all see it, y'all see it. Yeah, I got sick. Uh, I think it was some street food. Watch out for street food. I'm not talking like the small restaurants mostly, but I'm just talking about like the people selling stuff in a little, you know, little square, little rolly things. You know what I'm saying? I got me, it wasn't arepa, but it was something where I put some like, you know, spicy picante sauce on that thing. And it was good at, at the beginning, but um, yeah, it fucked my shit up. Excuse my language. Um, but yeah, so after that, Medellin was, was tough. I loved it at the same time, but you know, that's when I started getting a little healthy, healthy or whatever. And then after Medellin, Bogota came around. And really what happened in Bogota is, you know what I'm saying, the last night, the last night we met some friends that Leon knew from Peru. Um, and, uh, hey, I was my borracho. I was, I was, I was drunk, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all Colombians, look. Y'all love giving out shots and stuff, man. I said no mas. But you know, I can't turn stuff down. You know what I'm saying? Good hospitality. So, hey, I got drunk and uh, walking out, man, somebody somebody swiped me. Somebody swiped me. Um, I found my iPhone wasn't working. She really got a good lick. Good lick. You know what I'm saying? Good lick. I know who it was. So, I mean, if you, if you see this video, she probably won't. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. So after that, we had to go to uh, Cali right after that. Um, and right after that, um, I had somebody from home send me, um, appreciate your money, send me a phone from UNC. I mean, from, you know what I'm saying, the States. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to tell y'all, do not use the postal service. We got it three to five days. I told her to ship it. Ship it while I was on the bus from Bogota to Cali. You know what I'm saying? I got to Bogota on the 28th. Or Cali on the 28th. It was shipped earlier that day on the 28th. My journey didn't come until two and a half weeks later. No, uh, and because I say that is because it's not necessarily USPS fault, but um, going through uh, Colombian's um, postal service, which they really don't have def a, a good postal service at the moment. It's kind of hard and tricky, and there you go. And um, my train got there within three days in Bogota, but it stayed almost a week and a half in the airport before it even went to customs. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I, you know, sound a little discouraged and shit. You know what I'm saying? Even even Med in Medellin, like once I got my stomach sickness, um, I was like, we say f this trip. You know what I'm saying? But did too many too much sacrificing to to you know so go astray and you know gotta be thankful for you know what I do have so yeah so that's why you really ain't heard from me you know what I'm saying so what I what I do uh, advise you if you ever get your phone stolen if you ever want to get something from the states um, a phone or whatever wherever you, you're staying at I advise you to look it up look up the best um, the best shipping company for that country because sometimes they also have have them in um 
and you know wherever you stay at you know it's like a private more third party shipping um, shipping company so for me um, I probably would have done um, FedEx or this place called or uh, I think it's this other company called so Sovering Sovering whatever like that but yeah so just just look up also um, when you why is this man looking at me <laughs> but also uh, when you ship it make sure you go online and, and make sure what you can and cannot ship in the country because if I would have waited until I got to Ecuador to ship something a cell phone it would not let you ship a cell phone yet. so just make sure you look all that stuff up or you know saying easy case scenario is to buy a phone while you're down there which the reason why I didn't was because it's more expensive to buy a smartphone especially an iPhone in Colombia than it is the States I already had an old phone from back at home you know, so I was like, man, just ship it here. You know what I'm saying? A phone is replaceable, you know what I'm saying? Traveling isn't. So, just want to get y'all a little insight. I'm back. Back with a new hairstyle. I'm going to tell y'all about that later. Um, but yeah, I just want to let y'all know. I'm going to be posting more. I'm going to be, you know, narrating more. I just want to definitely let y'all know, you know, what was going on with your boy. So, uh, until next time. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Um, right now, we're in Guayaquil, in Ecuador still. Um, I just wanted to take time to uh, let y'all know about the experience with my hair. So, um, in Ecuador itself, there's only like 6% of um, Afro-Ecuadorians, you know what I'm saying? So, when we crossed the border, we seen a couple, um, and we was really surprised because I didn't think after um, Colombia there wouldn't be too many you know black people so it was the next day after our so we got there on a thursday so the next day was a friday we did a walking tour you know just uh, what a walking tour is it was free um a person takes you all over the city um maybe show you some food and show you just the culture of ecuador and, and some history um so after the walking tour you know my hair has been growing i just grew on my hair since i've been you know traveling um Actually, me and my friend Leon, y'all know him, of course, it's his page. But, um, so I randomly see, you know, saying two Afro Ecuadorian ladies um, on the street, and, um, you know, I flagged them down and, you know, asked them in Spanish, um, do you know where I could get my hair done at? You know what I'm saying? At first, I just wanted a two strand twist, to twist out, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm accustomed to. Um, well, that was only the first time I ever got my hair twisted in general. Um, so yeah, so they was like, yeah, yeah, grab my hair and everything, and then, um, it was like, yeah, um, actually, I could do it, I'm like, you sure? She's like, yeah, um, only five dollars, I'm like, five dollars, five dollars, um, but yeah, she, you know, so she told me to drop her, no her number down, and, um, was on our way, so the last day that, um, I was in, Quitos, because that's where we met her in Quitos. Um, they did our hair. Now, we was a little late. We had some problems going on at the hostel. Um, but they stayed, uh, damn. But they stayed there um, at the park. They told us to meet them at the park, at the, at the, um, the Grand Plaza. And so we got there. They out there sitting now. Mind you, we was an hour late. Um, but they waited. I didn't know they stayed two hours um, away. Um, but yeah, they definitely did our hair, get, um, did our hair, um, the one on the green, like I said, sweet ladies, I'm gonna show y'all a picture right now, um, but yeah, 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 so the green, the girl, the lady in the green, her name is, um, Euphrasia, and the one in the pink, her name is Marcia, so definitely, um, doing our hair was definitely experience just out in the park, you know what I'm saying, like I said, it's not too many Afro-Ecuadorians in general, so, Everybody was amazed about, you know, our getting our hair done and um, people came up and, and, and asked can they get their hair done. I was like, y'all, you know, y'all can make a real business out of this, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, and you see people's faces, we'll, we'll show some pictures of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you see people's uh, uh, faces and, and uh, look of, of, of curiousness. Uh, when they saw them doing our hair um but yeah it was definitely interesting loving ladies sweet ladies we definitely had to give them more than 
what they asked for. Um, like I said, I didn't know that they stayed two hours um, away. Um, I also didn't know, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I just didn't know how far they stayed and everything like that. And of course, we were, we were already late. Um, she didn't have, you know what I'm saying, uh, access to phone. She keep her phone at the house, so I'm texting, I'm calling. You know, I only, only hear her when she at the house, and that's two hours away. So I'm glad that that's why they end up staying um, because you have to get this in their heart, man. It's just sweet, sweet ladies, man. And I just wanted to let y'all know and, and, and get y'all insight on, on South America or sometimes you, who you find, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just never know. Um, the people are nice, you know, even sometimes. Or I would say mostly, you know, nicer to get back at home, 100%. But yeah, man, they definitely did a good job. Right now, my hair is a weekend. It's not as fresh. Um, but uh, I definitely um, want to definitely thank them, you know. So I'm going to definitely send this, send this to them so they can actually see it. Because I still keep in contact with them today. And they were just making, they, you know, can't believe we was American. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably another reason. People was coming up to them asking like, can you do my hair? And she was like, no, nah, only these two, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I just told them I'll definitely keep them updated on our journey. And um, yeah, I'll definitely send this, this this video to them. So I just wanted to share my thoughts and, and um, my experience with y'all in Ecuador and of course, new hairstyle. Till next time.